Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Daily Motion, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Friday, February 6th, 2015, around 10.47 p.m. in Berwicka, Massachusetts. This is a very special edition of my video blogs. There's going to be no news reports or weather reports. It's about the Boston Celtics game I went to this this past evening when the Celtics beat the uh, Philadelphia 76ers by the score of 107-96 at the TD Garden. I went to the Celtics game with my sister and her boyfriend. And we had pretty good seats. We were about several rows from the court side. It was excellent view. And, I, and it was awesome. We, I walked around before the game getting into the, uh, get into the, like, the North Station area. And North Station, since the last time I've been in there, since in 2012, looks so different. It seems everything's more compact in for North Station and stuff. And first time I've been in Boston since 2012. Going into the Fleet Center, walking around, I mean the TD Garden, Walking around is doing some renovations around that place. It was it was okay. There's now more and more food options at the TD Garden. There's food for seafood and burgers and chicken and and tacos and pizza. Sounds just pizza is there and stuff like that. And I had three tacos which are vegetarian tacos. Hey, yeah, I'm eating more healthy and stuff like that. And also walking around the concourse area of where we sat, I saw a lot of, a lot of like renovations being done and more and more like, there weren't too many fans at that game. Seems like a lot of empty seats at the TD Garden for Celtics games. Because Celtics aren't doing pretty good this year. But, you know, still, it was a great time. I got this at the Celtics game. This is, a, I got a Tommy Point, which is a, which is a bead, which is pretty good. And they took a picture of me. This is me. This is me. This was one of the Celtics players, which is pretty good and stuff like that. Taking this picture was a lady that looked like Julie Broughton. But it wasn't Julie Brennan. I just I told that la lady who took the picture that you look like a look like a t TV reporter and weather lady from Orlando Fallout, and I mentioned the name Julie, but I didn't say Julie Brennan. And anyway, the Celtics played pretty good, pretty good the first half of the game, and uh, the crowd gets excited for these Celtics games, even though they're not doing too good and stuff like that, and that. And at, and at halftime, they had the, like, kids play games and stuff like that. They were trying to shoot the baskets. A couple of them got the basket. But it's just real fun and entertaining for the kids and stuff. Also, the Celtics cheerleaders, they're pretty good and stuff like that. They're pretty good at it. They, they, it's the South, or they call them the Celtics dancers, I mean. But they're pretty good and stuff like that. And they had Lucky the Leprechaun and stuff. And they had... Um, the t-shirt giveaway and stuff like that. I liked the t-shirts, but I didn't get a t-shirt for, for the throws because it's very hard to throw very high up and up where we were seeing, seeing. But I've seen a few of the few of the cheerleaders and dancers throw them up like crazy to the upper levels and stuff like that. They must be good throwers and stuff like that. Overall, it's a great game. It was a great time there and. You know, there's I it's Celtics games are pretty good to go to, even though you're going to be seeing a lot of empty seats there because the Celtics aren't great. And I think it's a great great to go to these Celtics games. Hey, it's a little it's a little pricey, and the food's a little pricey as well. But it's a great time and stuff like that. I used to go to a lot of Celtics game back in the day when it was a Fleet Center and stuff like that, and. It's now renovated. Everything's HD. The HD scoreboard, which is another cool feature, if you go there and stuff like that, 
And that's about it. I enjoyed the time going to the Celtics game. Well, tomorrow, Facebook friends, YouTube followers, Twitter followers, and Daily Motion followers, three more video blogs. First video blog is going to be about top 10 greatest pitchers in Brooklyn's Los Angeles Dodgers, Dodgers history. Second video blog will be the classic TV sitcom, Webster. Third and final video blog of the night, personality profile, it will be about the bodyguard Virgil. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.